hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel so we will be solving this uh, exponential uh, equation this is also the type that requires substitution so we are going to be you know trying our best to see what we can substitute and from this term we can already see that 2 raised to the power x will be the most likely thing so we'll try to see how to you know transform this equation to get out 2 raised to the power x from it and of course, we know that this is the same thing as uh, 3 into 2 raised to the power of uh, 2x multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 3 by the law of indices. If I change this multiplication, of course, I'll get the addition up here. Okay, and this is minus 5 into this one also will become 2 raised to the power of x multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 3 okay and then that is minus 156 equal to 0 okay so uh, at this point this other term is still not in a perfect shape so we we'll try to factorize uh, to bring out the power 2 there so this is going to give us 3 into 2 or let me put it this way 3 into 2 raised to the power of x then all raised to the power of 2 of course if you open up that bracket you get back our 2 raised to the power 2x and this is multiplied by 8 because 2 raised to the power of 3 is 8 okay so we will close this bracket and this is minus here we are going to have 5 so at this point we are going to be bringing out the constants and then we'll be replacing our 2 raised to the power x so let our p be equal to 2 to the power of x and when we substitute we are going to have 3 sorry 3 times 8 this 3 will multiply the 8 inside and that will give us 24 okay so our 2 raised to the power of x is p so we'll bring we call it p and then raised to the power 2 there. This is now 5 multiplying the 8 inside will give us 40 and 2 raised to the power of uh, x is still our p. Okay, so now we have a quadratic equation which we can solve to get the value of our p. So what do we do? First of all, there is a common term here that can divide through 4 can do that. So if 4 divides through, we'll get 6p squared. So the easiest thing to do, if you check factorization for this, it won't work. So we are going to use the formula method. Okay, and uh, if we are going to use the formula method, you remember the formula which says that p is equal to negative b. Okay, so which means we need to get our a, b, c. Our a is the coefficient of p squared, which is 6. Our b is the coefficient of p, which is negative 10. And our c is the constant, which is negative 39. Okay, so we'll try to substitute into the formula we've got. So it means then that our p is going to be negative. negative that minus minus 10 will be plus 10. So we'll have plus or minus the square root of. Okay, so from here, we'll try to break this down a little bit. And this is going to give us, uh, we have 10 plus or minus. Uh, by the time you multiply this out, you're going to get uh, 936. Uh, that's 4 times 6 times, minus 4 times 6, which is minus 24 times minus 39, will give you plus 936. And if you now add it to 100, you will have a uh, square root of 1036. And that is over 12, okay? And when you take that square root, you're going to have 10 plus or minus approximately 32.2, okay? That's the square root of 1,036, and that's over 12. So, of course, from here, you will then see that our P is either 10 plus 32.2, Okay, so from here, it means then that our P will be, uh, of course, if you add this, you'll get 42.2. .2.
and when you divide by 12 that's going to give you 3.52 okay or now when you add subtract this you're going to get minus 22.2 when you divide by 12 that will give us minus 1.85 okay now but you recall that here we called our p this let me call it equation star so now because our p is uh, a number in exponent form it means that p cannot be negative so our p can only take one of the values here so in other words our p is simply 3.52 because it can only be positive so how do we then get our x now from that equation where we said let our 2x be equal to 2 raised to the power x be equal to p so if we now substitute we'll have 2 raised to the power x is equal to our p now is 3.52 then we can easily express this in index form where the base will be 2 because that's the only way we can get our x so we are going to use logarithm here so if we apply log on both sides what will happen is that the power will come down and so we now have x log 2 to be equal to the log of uh, 3.52 okay so when we divide both sides by 2 sorry by log 2 we'll get that x alone is equal to the log of 3.52 divided by the log of 2 okay so and we will try now to find those <clears throat> the values of those logarithms and when you do log 3.51 sorry 52 is approximately equal to 0 0.5465 of course i have done videos on logarithms how to get of course you know this is natural logarithm based then of course if you check your logarithm table you will be able to get this but even if you cannot use log tables, you can use your calculators, you'll get these values. And so why the log of 2 is 0 0.3010. I took all to um, four decimal places. So the final answer when you divide, I left it in two decimal places as 1.82. So this is the final value of our x for this problem, which is actually what we were asked to find. Remember, they said we should solve this equation, and to solve it means to find the value of x. Right, and this is where we end it for this video. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.